We uh, we are the the uh, the Melva, the Melva. <laughs> and you're watching QTV. QTV. <laughs> and us. The Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race started in 1974 at the University of Alberta. Since then, it has crossed the country to include all technical universities and colleges across Canada. Queens has done exceptionally well at these competitions, coming in third overall last year and introducing steering in 2005. But who are the people behind Concrete Toboggan? Who are the engineers brave enough to ride a slab of concrete down a hill at speeds up to 72 kilometers per hour? In this two-part series, we will be investigating that. In the first series, we are going to go in and meet the team and see what work they have to get done to be ready for the competition in Sherbrooke, Quebec. Let's go. I'm here with Mike and Josh. So Josh, why did you decide to get involved with Concrete Toboggan? Um, it must have been at the first forum when I received free pizza and I was guaranteed a trip to uh, Sherbrooke, Quebec, assuming I went to mixes. I'm here with Bill, who is head of construction for the Concrete Toboggan team. Bill, why did you decide to get involved with Concrete Toboggan? So I got involved with Concrete Toboggan because I wanted to get out and do things in civil club, uh, do something civil events, and I figured a design team was a good way to go. So what is your role within Concrete Toboggan? What does it entail? I do head of construction. So the frame, uh, which is our main roll cage, is what I design. I assist with the brakes, the formwork, and the steering. And that's pretty much it. It's a lot of uh, logistical stuff. You know. Okay, uh, can you tell me what the actual technical constraints are for the toboggan? Yep. Like, does the whole thing have to be made out of concrete? What uh, exactly has The to way be? that works is the toboggan itself has to weigh 300 pounds. Okay. And all it really has to be is everything that touches the ground has to be made out of concrete. So your skis for steering and your main slab is made out of concrete and everything else is up to you. It could be wood, aluminum, or steel. Uh, we use aluminum because we have a wonderful sponsor, Metalcraft, who helps us out with that and gives us aluminum and it's light. And we have a big safety factor at Queens and they really, really push safety of our toboggans. So we build a full aluminum roll cage. A lot of schools just have a concrete slab and a hoop on the back for a roll cage. But we have full sidewalls just in case it rolls for safety reasons, obviously. Yeah. So otherwise, it looks kind of like a giant aluminum bobsled. And you don't really see the concrete. The only part that's concrete is this thin right. slab. It's only about an inch and a half thick and two meters long. So. Right. Um, what would you say is your favorite aspect of concrete toboggan? Favorite aspect? Well, I think it's good to be working with the team. Yeah. You, get, uh, you meet a lot of cool people that maybe you weren't so close with before. Mm -hmm. And the competition is clearly always a great time. And we usually do pretty well. So. So I'm here with Morgan, who is the head of the Concrete Toboggan team. So Morgan, why did you decide to get involved with Concrete Toboggan in the first place? Uh, initially, I was just sort of really interested in being a part of a design team, and um, they really recruited well last year. The, the captain last year just really encouraged me to join, so it ended up being a, a really good choice because I get to sort of do something that's really technical or apply my technical knowledge and then go to a wicked competition, which is really fun. So Awesome. So in what capacity were you involved last year? Um, last year I was just a rookie so I just helped out with the mix, helped the toboggan, just went in to see how everything went at the competition. Okay so what are what are all your responsibilities for this? Um, so as the captain I just sort of run team meetings, uh, do all, work a lot with sponsorship, uh, set up our budget, uh, make sure that stuff's running on time, that the toboggan is being built on schedule, um, organized like rookie nights, and um, <laughs> go to concrete mixes and stuff. <laughs> so how is Concrete Toboggan funded? Um, we're really funded by outside sponsors. So this year, Halsall and Ellis Dawn are sponsoring us. And then we also have um, the students put in a large contribution, as does the university. but. We're always sort of looking for sponsors. So if someone wanted to make a donation or sponsor uh, the Concrete Toboggan, how could they do that? Well, we have a website, which is um, toboggan at ngsock.queensu.ca, which is also our email. So they're welcome to send us an email, and we have a sponsorship package online as well. So do you feel uh, the team, the exec team this year is really, really good? Yes, definitely. <laughs> How do you feel about the rookies? Do you think there's going to be a good team next year too? Good team next year. I think it'll be a good competition. Awesome. Um, is there anything else you want to add? Um, I don't think so. The Queens team is really successful. We came in third last year, so we're really hoping for for another good run this year. 
So obviously there's a lot of work that goes into designing and building a concrete toboggan. Tune in next time when we go to the competition in Sherbrooke, Quebec, and see how Queen's and the other universities do at this great northern concrete toboggan race.